All right, here with uh, Miles Davis talking about the uh, wide receivers today. Um, three starting positions to replace. Uh, you have Greg Salas, Kilo Pilares, Rodney Bradley. All those guys are in NFL camps right now, so a lot of talent to replace. Yeah, you know, we do. <clears throat> and obviously, uh, they're a very productive group. We have just one starting receiver back in Royce. <clears throat> he'll be very good. Uh, I think he'll be excellent, really. And we have people that are very qualified to fill in. Right now we've had a lot of ouchies and injuries and so we need to get boys healthy to get it done. I think we have enough here to get it done, but we have to get healthy right now. Yeah, you can talk about that. You have a couple projected starters who, who've missed a lot of practice. Any concerns about that? Yeah, you know, I think Billy, he's, he's going to be all right probably another day or two before he come out. I think he's fine. And I thought Maya was going to be okay. Now, it's been a little slower, but I think he'll be okay as we get through this next week that we're in right now. And I think that they'll both be coming around and be ready to go. Can you give us a little more detail about those guys? They, they haven't seen a lot of playing time, but they'll, they'll be relied on heavily. You're talking about Maya Ostrowski, uh, Billy Ray Stutzman, and then um, a newcomer in Darius Bright. Yeah. Well, really, Darius hasn't played at all in games because he was redshirt. <clears throat> the other two have played. Uh, Billy played quite a bit. He really backed up and was played at X, but we moved him inside to a slot, as we did uh, Maya. Maya was a slot before. Both of them are talented. Both of them good athletes. Both of them have an understanding. Uh, really, we've got some other backups and some young kids that are coming in that also will be qualified. Uh, Corey has been playing slot. He's probably gotten more laps, as has uh, Justin Clapp. Both those guys got a lot of reps and are very knowledgeable about what we're doing. <clears throat> Who would you say is like the most improved player out there? You know, it's difficult to say. The, I would guess probably right this time, I'd say either Darius or Alan Sampson. Uh, they're both playing X. They both have improved a considerable amount. Uh, the other, the guys inside really haven't played much. Rice, while he was a very excellent receiver last year, has improved, and he's, he would be in the running too. So I think that... Even though you were a good one, you got to get better, and Rice has certainly done that. Uh, how, how are the newcomers looking? Like, <clears throat> right now they're looking like they're a little confused, but I think we have some talented kids. Uh, Trevor Davis, very good speed, bright kid. He'll do a good job. Edu, Edu, Edu. We keep saying, hey, we changed the name about four times. <clears throat> but he's a talented kid, and he's a good player, and... Uh, Chris, the other slot. Uh, Chris Gant. Yeah, Chris Gant's, uh, Gant is a good one. Both of them have uh, gotten better. Uh, Clay's a good kid. We got a walk on. We got a couple walk ons that are really pretty good players, but have been down with injury. We've had so many pulls and so many ouchies. He's been slow to really get a good look at some of the kids. You know, the success of the team hinges a lot on you know the quarterback and receivers being on the same page. How's that uh, relationship going? Well, I think that certainly uh, Mo has a very good relationship with Royce, and I guess a good re relationship with both Corey and Billy, and is getting a very good relationship now because they're getting so many ra repetitions in uh, Corey and uh, Justin. So if that in some ways is a good feeling. Now, in the summer, through a little more, as I understand it, to Darius and Alan and both those, they'll all be in the hunt. But I think that Molly's very good feeling for the offense and getting better and better.